Matter of fact, yo, NASA have did the unthinkable. They they did listen, they just put it in plain sight. NASA have just launched an African into space. <laughs> yeah, when I say African, I mean you know what I'm saying, an African. You know what I'm saying? A Nimrod is an African. Nimrod is actually an Ethiopian. You know what I'm saying? You know, the same person that you celebrate when you celebrate Christmas, celebrating that African Nimrod. When you celebrate Easter, you celebrate that African Nimrod. The Tower of Babel, it was all about Nimrod building the Tower of Babel. Nimrod is that African. Now, I'm going to play this audio, and I want you guys to hear what they did. NASA has launched Nimrod into space. <laughs> NASA has launched its first space probe to study the fossils of the solar system. The Lucy probe is heading out to the orbit of Jupiter to study two groups of asteroids that run in swarms. What did they just say? Did they not just say the Lucy probe have just been launched into space? The Lucy probe. Now, what is Lucy? Lucy is short for what? Lucifer. The Lucifer probe. Let's go ahead and re re I'm going to go ahead and rewind that again because I want you guys to hear that. You know what I'm saying? And this is NASA. This is the, the, the space people that you guys depend on. Hold on, let's, let's go ahead and hear that again. Head off and behind the gas giant. NASA has launched its first space probe to study the fossils of the solar system. The Lucy probe is heading out to the orbit of Jupiter to study two groups of asteroids that run in swarms ahead of and behind the gas giant. Aruna Iyengar has this report. Three, two, one, zero. The Lucy probe is on its way to Jupiter. Lift off. <laughs> the Lucy probe is on its way to Jupiter. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, people. First first of all, you gotta you guys gotta understand what are the planets. The planets are angels, people. Um over in Mecca. You know what I'm saying? With the Muslims worship, that rock, that Kaaba stone. What did they say that Kaaba stone? Where did that came from? They said that Kaaba stone came from where? Came from uh, 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 um, the atmosphere. Long, long ago when it came down and crashed down. That was an asteroid, right? Which was a fallen angel. That was a fallen angel. That's why to this day they still worship it. Because it's a fallen angel. The asteroids that you see in the heavens, those are angels. The planets are angels. The stars are angels. <laughs> and they just launched Lucy. Let me go ahead and press play again. It's on a 12-year mission to study two groups of asteroids that run in swarms ahead of and behind the gas giant. Aruna Iyengar has this report. Three, two, one, zero. The Lucy... NASA has launched its first space probe to study the fossils of the solar system. The Lucy probe is heading out to the orbit of Jupiter to study two groups of asteroids that run in... Now, now pay attention to that fossil thing. Because what is a fossil? A fossil is like, you know, say old, like when you see fossils of old dinosaur bones, dinosaur bones, those are fossils, right? Bones. That's what I thought fossils was, right? So they said that Lucy is study, went out to study the fossils of the universe. So let's go ahead and press play. Ahead of and behind the gas giant. Three, two, one, zero. The Lucy probe is on its way to Jupiter. Lift off. Atlas V takes flight. It's on a 12-year mission to study asteroids called Trojans, left over from the beginning of the universe. So what are the Trojan asteroids? They're asteroids that orbit with Jupiter around the sun that ultimately... From the beginning of the universe. Now, 
If you want to know anything about the beginning of the universe, you got to go in the scriptures because the Most High God have created the universe. Six days he have created the universe and on the Sabbath he rested. That's why we are too holy and hollow out the Sabbath because the Sabbath is holy. That's why we keep the Sabbath day. Because it's the day the Lord rested for making the day, the earth in six days. So what are they talking about from the beginning of the universe? <laughs> okay. So Lucy is going to visit eight Trojan city sized lumps of rocks, aka, he's going to visit eight angels. <laughs> That's what he's going to visit. That's what they send in Lucy to have uh, to the universe for to go visit eight angels. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. One, maybe you got sort of a bit of a funny one, right? But by seeing eight, you get to really understand what's going on in this population. The probe is named after the fossil Lucy discovered in Africa in 1974, which taught us about where our species came from. Uh oh, uh oh. So they said the 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 Trojan Lucy is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me let me go ahead and rewind that again. This new mission takes. The probe is named after the fossil Lucy discovered in Africa. Okay, the probe is named after the fossil Lucy. Was not Nimrod slain? When Nimrod was found dead, you know what I'm saying, his penis was missing. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you have all these different damn wicked, you know what I'm saying, acts going on in the earth today. But Nimrod was dead. Dead, his fossil, his fossil. That's why they celebrate, you know what I'm saying, Nimrod on Christmas with that Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? Because that tree represents Nimrod. You know what I'm saying? Easter, that represents Nimrod. You know what I'm saying? If you read the book of Ezekiel, it says, uh, the Most High God tells, the Most High God tells, um, Ezekiel to turn yet again, and ye shall see greater abominations than these. Ye shall see women weeping for Tammuz. Ye shall see women weeping for Tammuz, crying for Tammuz. Tammuz is another word for Nimrod. And where and who is Tammuz and who is Nimrod? Nimrod is an Ethiopian. Nimrod is an African, an African Ethiopian, you know what I'm saying? And there's no wonder why they said he was discovered in Africa. Because they want civilization to start in Africa. <laughs> Nineteen seventy four, forty seven represents what? Time. You know what I'm saying? Nineteen represents what? The existence of God. In reverse, that's ninety one. You know what I'm saying? Ninety one and forward and forward ninety one. Um, and forward 19 and reverse 91, forward 74 and reverse 47, both representing time. Time for what? You know what I'm saying? See, let me tell you something. This is this is their whole plan. They've been wanting to do this ever since the Tower of Babel. They didn't complete it at the Tower of Babel. They've been trying to get this going ever since the Tower of Babel. This new mission takes inspiration from that name. Scientists are hoping it will show us proof of a massive reorganization of matter shortly after the solar system's formation. Aruna Iyengar, BBC News. I've been speaking to one of the scientists on the mission, Dr. Carly Howard. Understanding where we came from is a very complex puzzle, right? It, it's not something that's answered with a single piece. And Lucy can contribute to that by understanding a little bit more about the Jovian Trojan asteroid. So these... These asteroids, we think, were there at the birth of our solar system. They're primordial. They haven't changed. 
And so by understanding what they're made from, we understand a little bit more about where they might have formed. Did they form in the Kuiper Belt, which is near Pluto? Or did they form where Jupiter is right now? And understanding that difference will enable us to test our theories of model uh, solar system formation, and that will enable us to better understand how Earth came to be the way it is right now. No, ain't no such thing as no rocks in heaven. <laughs> Because, see, the atmosphere is a form of heaven. That's like the the second heaven. You know what I'm saying? You got three heavens. You got the second heaven. The third heaven is where the Most High God sit at. And then you got the first heaven, which is earth. You see? But that's what they don't want to tell you. You got an earth, which is the first heaven, which the Most High God made earth to be heaven, that's why he made us here. He made Adam here. Earth was supposed to be heaven. And then you have the second heaven, which is the universe. And then you have the third heaven. You know what I'm saying? It don't take a rocket science to see this. All you have to do is read the scriptures and you would understand what the universe is all about. All you have to do is read the book of Enoch and you will know what the constellations are. Of the heavens are the angels, where they say Jupiter. Jupiter is an angel. The rocks around Jupiter, like they say, those are angels. Those are eight rocks, those are eight angels. And then you got Lucifer blasted off to go to Jupiter. These are all angels, but they don't want to tell you that. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Don't forget, people, um, hit that like button. And if you want to donate to this ministry, the donation link in the description box below. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.